can you play multi-expressivo through it? And it can be on the soft side, okay? So don't use too much bow, but can it stay almost flat here? You know, a little tilt, but almost flat here, okay? Just as much richness as you can give me. Can I just hear what that sounds like? Uh, let's kind of just strings alone here for just one second, please. Bar before F, bar before F. Vibrant before you enter, please. Yes, and then really nice and fast, uh, not maximum speed, but one less than maximum speed tremolo there. Okay, and then really crescendo until it's time to diminuendo. Another thing, uh, first, could we, could we try this whole thing on the G string? Okay, can I just hear that, please? Once again, please, strings, so basses will wait one bar till you enter, bar before F. Yeah, let's say right together, can it be more from the first, more from the first, let's hear the tune. I'm sorry, yes, yeah, st still more, the, the diminuendo is just now starting, so it should start healthier so that you have somewhere to go down to. And I would say where you go down to should still be more than what I just heard, okay? So significantly more to start with first. Bar before F, please. Yeah, I think that's the sound. Now can it be still stronger though? So just completely mark out the double P, you know, or just put in mezzo mezzo, mezzo forte maybe, okay? But with power, with power. Should just sound, this whole thing should just sound rustic and sentimental and like a nice, I don't know, like a fall day or something, right? Just kind of, wow, wow, you know? Next fall, no mass, let's hope, right? Okay, <laughs> just put yourself there. Here's bar before F. Thank you very much. Now, let's back up. That's much better, thank you. Uh, Tutti Orchestra, third bar of D, after downbeat. If you have a quarter followed by a quarter, can you please mark a breath between the two? Let's really make something out of the two quarters, repeated quarters, that's always interesting. Secondly, can you exaggerate the dynamics to the most preposterous degree. The reverse hairpin, right? Just niente, niente on the piano, okay? Truly, just, I mean, if you go inaudible for a moment, I, I won't be offended by that, okay? Take a risk, we're in rehearsal right now, take a risk, take a risk that you go too far with that, okay? Good, can we try a little of these things? Uh, let's put them together. Uh, here's letter D, please, letter D. Tutti. <laughs> things. First, can you follow the line a little more? It, it needs to have this dark, sinister sound. It strings, I think the more and more I'm hearing it spread further, it's like a virus, and so this is good. It, it, that's the right sound. Good. Um, now, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is not the year for that analogy. Oh, yeah. I was like, I did it, and then I heard it, and then I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Let's see how that works. Okay. Um, <laughs> So, uh, so, so follow, we're gonna follow the line more. So start strong, let it get ever so slightly weaker. Uh, but that only works if the downbeat is strong enough, right? So it sets the tone. 
then you have room to back off and grow a little bit more in bar two. Second thing, in bar three, this is bar three of letter E for instance, but every time this tune occurs, di da da di da, can you ever so slightly make B4 a little pregnant? Ever so slightly, just a little fatter than normal, okay? Can we try that please? Here's letter E, letter E. a moment here with these uh, these little wind sections. Good. One other thing I'd say is don't worry about being too soft. Just remember this is already chamber music, you know, from a Tutti orchestra to, to you. The contrast is already baked in. So, you know, response over dynamics in this particular spot here, okay? Fifth bar. I mean, that was, that was it, that was it. And it didn't, I mean, it wasn't, the only reason it was noticeable is because you did it differently before. It won't be noticeable in a, re, in a recording in that way. Secondly, Louis, great sneaking in, as we talked about, low register there, uh, very, very nice sneaking in as well. Um, the one place I might get a little fussy with the time is in that third bar where you're already all playing. I won't get, I won't do anything weird to you uh, in between these little seams. That will just throw the whole thing off, okay? We'll just keep it really uh, steady for the first couple of bars. Okay, good. Top, please. Top. Um, it shouldn't be that long, is what I'm trying to say. It should be plump, but not too long. D, 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 da, 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 just da, da. Can we please play the last three notes first? Let's review this. Okay, right on the trill, saving bow on the trill. Not saving low on the G. Ready and go. And three, four. Excellent, excellent. Really nice. Yeah, what's your name? AJ. AJ, yeah, AJ, right on the money. There. You saved lots of us. You had lots left over for the G. That was a really nice job. Good. Uh, once again, first. Let's do it again. Same place. And B3. Oh, once again, yeah. And remember what was the other tip we said? The other tip was start at the Tip, so you have more bow to work with in the first place. Really start at the tip. Here we go. And. Yeah, it's better. I think I might have over, we might have over practiced slightly. It, it has length of it. Yeah, yeah, da, da, like a lyrical medium note. Let's call it, not a short note, not a long note, a medium note. Okay, let's call it that. Okay, good. Can we go back to uh, 35 again? Yeah, that was much better. The only one that I, the only one I'd ask that we could do more on would be if took the orchestra before 36, one, two, three, the fourth before, beat two, that one can really pop. Can you do that again, please? 35.
be lighter and softer. Once again. Great, great, great. So the, let's combine the softness of the second time with the crispness of the first time, and I think we'll have it. 38, one more. Yeah, best one yet. Good, good. A nice balance between you. Very good, very good. Thank you.